Hey traders, so here I got in here late this uh, this trade. You see where I entered right here because of this um, total control. But you know, that's more of a late entry. If I was going to do an entry, I'll show you where, and that's why I like about this template. Hold on, just, let me just get my pointer here. Okay, so what I was saying here, the entry is from going from the plus minus one here to the plus two. That was the good entry. Now, since this is the overnight or the overnight session, the globex session, there's not not much volatility yet. You only get the volatility is when we have the London open, and that's basically really like yesterday. There was hardly anything, so that's why I am recording this rather rather than doing a live stream because I'm, you know, the past few weeks have been really low in volatility so let's see if we get a, you know we make profit here but you can see here with this this template you'll see the templates here that you see these other lines you'll have the this blue let me see if i can find the blue dotted line here right here, let me see if I can find. yeah up here so this is the vwap of yesterday's vwap when it closed that's where it is now that's the middle. Now you have these other ones where you have this line up here, which is the value area high, and you have another line here, which is the value area low. And I think that's way down here, and that's where it's bouncing off on. You see that? That value area low and that low of the day of this Globex session right now, that's where it confluence. So now that's why you see this price bouncing off. So now, my question is, will this bounce off going back up to test the VWAP? And if it does, or will it bounce off here in the minus one deviation and come back down? Right now with my, and now again, these are for people who don't have inbox, but with people with inbox, I still have a good um, cumulative delta, but you can see it's a decreasing. We don't really have nothing here that's showing any, you know, Either, either way going up or going down, but we'll see as this builds up is now we're at the minus one deviation. I'm already down like six points. Again, this is the micro NQ, so it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm, I'm managing my, trying to manage my, my risk. But right now I also have the Fibonacci here. It's going to, you know, I don't know if it's gonna retest this uh, Fib retrace, it already did right here. It may go deeper, maybe I'm going to down here in the middle, you know, and eventually stop me out. But again, I don't, let's see how it's going to react here to the minus one deviation. And like it did here, like, but here it kind of tested the, almost like the VWAP. I mean, here, if I, this has been entry like one o'clock. This is my great entry right here, right? coming from the minus one to the minus two but um b is not that much that's not many points was really you know you could have either entered right here or again see that's only not even 10 points so right now my target is really going to be 10 points because that's what it's averaging if you see the distance from the view app to the Minus one deviations are on 9.25. So that's usually your profit target. Again, seems like what it's trying to do here. Again, I took a late entry here. I should have known that one. It's already approaching the minus two. It hit the minus two and decided to come back up. So now we have strong, this is a two minute chart. So we have strong momentum to the upside. Well, it continues the question. You see my cumulative delta is now decreasing. I might have to take this out. So I don't want to risk any more.
can see now the demand here from 35 now going up to 139. That's a bad indicator. That's an indicator saying it's going up. You can see the supply is now diminished from 269 to 65. So that can also tell you a good sign. So I may just end this here. So I don't have to risk that more, that much more. Let's see. I'll do it right there. Or you know what? Just swing high up here. So I do it. This candle here finishing above, so most likely it's going to try to test that. Let me see if I can get this down here. You risk 10 points. Stop filled. Okay, so there's the risk. I took 10 points. Now, if I want to see this, now you see this, it's getting increased. We're getting increased here. I will put an entry here. In fact, a good entry would have been right here, even. But since we're here, I'll put it right there. Order submitted. This is going to be a buy going into. Since you're bouncing off, you see how you can see how this tested, tested that minus two here, and look at bounced off, minus two here, bounced off, minus two here again. Consistency, see that? That minus two deviation is actually pretty strong. It's tested it here, tested it here, and tested it here. What did it do? It just bounced off. Now, the propensity here might be from here to the minus uh, the plus one. That's within at least the Fibonacci retrace. And if that's the case, if I can get filled there, that would be, that would be a good what ten points, I think. Yeah, that's fifteen points. That's my target. Let's see if we can get filled this down here. If not, we might just have to take that break up there because we're getting triple algos right now.
Order filled. So we got three minutes before the opening of the London Open. Let's see if it's going to continue going up. Strong momentum going to the upside. You guys can see with the with the candlesticks. So the only problem here is we are going into the Fibonacci retrace and there is a possibility where it come, might come back down. Because the overall trend right now is to the downside, right? And the reason I'm taking this long is look, look how many times it's tested the minus two deviation and it's just being rejected. Meaning that minus two deviation is very strong so let's see what happens here we, you know, we got yeah now we have the opening now let's see what happens here at the candle Hopefully this candle finishes above the view app. I should say closes above the view app. Not just pierce it, but close it, close above the view app. That would indicate a strong momentum to the upside. Yeah, you want to take note. So we had a wick, right? Just pierce that, but it never closed above the plus one deviation. Hence, we see the pullback. So this may pull back to the VWAP. Well, let's see what, you know, breaks this swing low here for this one. But right now you saw that. We have the wick that pierced the plus one deviation, but you don't see 
the closing of the bar above. That's why it's very important to know. Like, for example, here we closed above, but it never really went through. And you would have maybe gotten here for, let me see here. Yeah, you would have been taken for a ride coming back down. But again, what's the overall trend? It's to the downside. Same thing here. Why am I taking this trade again? Because of this. Now, it just missed my target by a few ticks, right? That's about it. But let's see if it's going to regroup. You're getting a double, a triple algo here. So we'll see if it's going to try to get up here again. We're at the plus one deviation right now. Which, and like I said, that would have been a great target. I can put, I can reset this back down here, right? And you, you would get a profit. At least get back what I lost. Because I remember I lost 10 points. That's around 10 points. So let's see. I may bring it. I may bring it down. Um, I mean, my profit target. Again, it depends on what it's going to do here. So we still have a triple algo, strong, you know, strong momentum here based on the community of delta. It's increasing. What worries me is this: it's not increasing. It's going down. In fact, which is the histogram. So let's see. So in this move, I'm waiting for this to maybe get up to here. Again, this is a good entry because it's basically uh, trying to a trying to do a trend, right? So we're here. There you see the candles are closing above the plus one. So therefore, there is a good probability that it will try to get this plus two deviation. Now question is that you can also be right here like here in the mid of this so that can be right here as well right you can see how this did you see this right there's a good entry where's your target right at the see look what it's doing right now definitely getting up there about 20 i'll get 20 points so that's you see that's why i like about this template you can see exactly where the probability of getting that we're about the candles are closing above the plus one most likely it's going to trend up to try to get to the plus two deviation same thing here you can see but it really failed it kind of faked out and came back down but again and you can see where the what you call it well you know the, the overall trends to the downside same thing here overall trends to the downside but now we have strong momentum why because it's coming from the other side. It's coming from the plus minus two deviation here. Whereas here it's coming from the VWAP. And sometimes you're coming from here. That's what it's it's gonna do. It's gonna test the VWAP, go up to go up to the plus one deviation, and then continue going back down and testing the other side, which it did to the minus two. So that's why it's really important to know your your patterns. And here we're coming from the plus minus two deviation. Getting up to the what plus two deviation here. So again, you can either try for twenty. I'm here. My target is twenty points, which I'll take that, since it's the overnight market. But if it's not, I'd probably get it up to here, maybe. But 
Let's see if it's going to hit my 20 points. And that would make up surely for my 10 point loss if I can hit this 20 point target. I can speculate. I, I mean, I can speculate, try to speculate where it can probably get up to here, this blue line, which is the previous day's VWAP where it closed. Again, that's speculation. We just have to really judge on what price is trying to do. So here we got up to here, right? Probably going to test this again, this uh, plus one deviation, and we and probably come back up. We have a good, strong triple algo here again. Strong here on the on the community of delta, not not decreasing, it's increasing. So again, higher probability where it may get up to here, maybe twenty points. So there's my 20 points, and this, like I said, may go up to here, or again, test this right here. I just want to secure that 20 points, so. See, we make 57, at least that's still positive. We're down at 105. And uh, like I said, just as long as we remain consistently profitable, that's where we're at. I may trade more or maybe later, but right now that's really the London session. You just want to be in profit, right? Especially now we're ending the C or ending the year. And the volatility is not that great as, as it was uh, earlier in the year. So now we are getting to the end of the year where a lot of, institutional traders will be taking their vacation uh, during the Thanksgiving holiday, and they won't, they won't be back until the middle of January. So you'll be noticing that the volatility, not only during the Globex session, the London session, or even the, the U.S. market session, where the volatility will, will basically disappear. You may have a good move during the first few, I'd say the first few um, hours of the RTH or the morning session, but after that, you will not get much of a movement like we what happened yesterday. Now, if you see what happened yesterday during the morning session, see that was able to get 20 points. Did it reach up here? Yes, it did. It reached that plus, plus two deviation. So that would have been a great target, like I said, but I want to secure my 20 points, and I got what we got a little more there, and you see what happens. It just bounces off that you see it's bouncing off so what happened yesterday's uh, morning session you can see here we had a big move to the downside and after that it pretty much just basically and this is m and q right it just was in a range and that range is between the plus one and minus one deviation and you could have got a move there oops let me get just I can just move this over here. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. So let me bring this up here. So this is what I'm talking about. Here's the opening. Let's see. Right, right here is the opening, right? And we already have a trade set up here right before the opening right here. So we see we're at the minus two, came back up to the minus one. And there, you could have gotten a trade coming here, right there. Either here would have been here, or this definitely would have been your entry down here. And uh, your stop would have been out here. Target would be the minus two deviation. That would have been a good trade right here on the M&Q. 
right? So let's say one point from here. Wait, what is the entry over there? 91.50, so 90.50 right there. And then target would be the plus three, whatever, down here, whatever, close to there. That's 50. That's already, if you're trading, like for me, I'm trading five contracts. That's 500 bucks right there, easily. Or at least 100 or more than 100. Because if you got your, you know, for your first profit target here would have been 20 points for how many contracts? Four. So that'd be 80 times four, right? Yeah. 80 times 4 is uh, 320 plus another 100. That's 420. That's a pretty good trade. That's if your target is 20 points, right? So that'd be 40. Okay, so that's 20 points. That's going to be 40 each. Yeah, so 40. So that's, I'm sorry, not 4. So it'd be $40 times 4. That'd be 160 plus another 100. To, if you have that runner hitting the 50 points, that would have been at least $160, which would be a great trade. And then what happens here? And now it pulls back into here. Now, when we get this candle here where it closes above like this, I would enter that trade, right? Stop would have been here. Target would be either one of these things. It could have been the VWAP here. Now, here's the VWAP from the previous day. You, get, you see how it bounced off there, right? Again, if you entered here, that would have been a good, what? Um, Maybe 56 right there, right there. 56 maybe up here, let's say, that hit that target. That's 30 points. It would hit your first two targets, right? Target of 20 and 30 maybe, right? So you would have hit your 30 points, came back down. You Again, your stop is down here. So let's say your stop is here, right? Stop is there, which is 28 right there. So you hit your two targets, or your, at least your first target, and you have a runner, right? I mean, I think you would have had that, but look. Definitely would have hit that target. Would have been what? It just bounced off this. Uh, again, this is the other VWAP. That's the reason why, which I like about this uh, template. So here, let me see if I can get this. There you are. So how many points is that we hits right here? 36. Again, you could have had that now also enter here once again into either hitting that VWAP or this VWAP, right? Because, again, at the plus one deviation or minus one deviation coming back up. See, that's why. So now we really, that whole day, we were below the VWAP most of the time. See that? And this is already the closing. So see this? This is already 4 o'clock. This is where it closed below the VWAP, not really trying to get up to here. But look at how wide that is, right? The area. And usually that's a good trading from here to here. Or sometimes from here all the way up to the plus one, but it never got there. Your first target is usually the VWAP, and you go from there. Okay. So quick tip on that. That's why I like this template, testing it out. And if it's good and I find it very consistent, then I will release it to you, to you, to you students, okay? And that, see you guys tomorrow. Again, I don't know. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Again, uh, the holiday is on Thursday in the U.S. So that would be, um, what would be here? Yeah, it'd be Thursday, I think. Yeah. Thursday holiday will be Friday here. I'm sorry. Again, the markets closed down early on Thursday, which is Friday evening here in the Philippines. But Thursday, it's a holiday. There's going to be no volatility, definitely. On Black Friday, again, it closes early at uh, 1 a.m. The Philippines, uh, 12 noon central time. So, again, watch out for the volatility. There's not going to be no volatility, especially those two days. Again, from that point on, all the month of December is going to be, be low, extremely low volatility. That's why it's very important to not expect. Maybe you might have to decrease your your profit target and uh, miss scalp because there's going to be low volatility for the rest of the year until mid of January. So those of you with performance accounts or funded accounts, be highly 
cautious. If you want to continue trading, yeah, just continue trading, get accumulate more um, evaluation accounts where you can pass more, okay, rather than risk your performance account or your funded account, okay. And that that's my tip. Talk to you guys. Well, I'll see you. I'm gonna record tomorrow. Today there was some volatility where I was able to make a small profit, but I did that yesterday, and look what happened when I did live stream. There was no volatility at all. That's what's scary. Oh, so here. I could have entered this. Look at this. Now it's coming back down here. Let's see if I can get this. But maybe it's too late now. See this? The move was actually right down from here. See this? We're coming here all the way down. It's going to probably test down here. So this is too late of a move. Now, if I'm going to see this come back to the plus one here and come back up, that may do then come back down and try to test this. But the entry here would be right here. Right there. That would have been a good entry. Now, that would have been another close to 15 point. Okay, so let's say the entry would have been at least right there. Yeah, look at that. You would have got another 15 point. You would have hit your target. That was 14 points. Most likely it's going to continue coming down. Not test this plus one or minus one deviation. You see that? That's where your entry is. Now, you can either get it maybe here to the VWAP, right? Either that, but if you see there's strong momentum, you can just continue going down over here or 15 point, whatever your 15 point target is.